Hey, hockey fans, Zach Fish, the voice of the Bears with you here. And while it'll be a bit until the chocolate and white take the ice for the February American Hockey League start, we're talking hockey in the low country. The ECHL affiliate of your Hershey Bears, the South Carolina Stingrays, take the ice starting this Friday against the Greenville Swamp Rabbits to open their new season. Excited to root on the Rays this year. Lots of players to watch. We'll give you everything that you need to know that's going on down on the farm. The Rays, of course, based in beautiful North Charleston, South Carolina, three-time Kelly Cup champions, and always one of the best teams in the league. The Bears have a long-standing affiliation with the Stingrays, and once again, there's some players Bears fans will want to know that have been reassigned to South Carolina to hone their craft. Here's a list of six players that were reassigned last week by Hershey, all on American Hockey League contracts. Several of them are fresh faces that you may not know yet that are looking to work their way up to the American Hockey League. Many of them rookies. Probably the most recognizable name on there is Caleb Herbert. Played with the Bears in Stingrays from 2014 to 2016. And in the ECHL, he's as good as it gets. A point of game player, previously an all-star. And you take a look at some of his slick hands that he had in his previous stint with the Stingrays. Also an American Hockey League option as far as depth goes too. Did score in his first ever game with the Bears few years ago looking forward to having him back in the organization taking a look at some of those rookies and none bigger than goaltender hunter shepherd goaltending the biggest question mark organizationally and for the stingrays because their star goaltender and former bear parker milner retired this summer now working in charleston but no longer manning the net for the stingrays and bears when needed enter shepherd two-time national champion at the university of minnesota duluth two-time all-american his resume, his pedigree, it's as good as it gets in the NCAA level. He's going to turn pro and start with the Stingrays. Good to have him in the organization. Exciting signing this summer for the Hershey Bears and a guy they believe has a lot of potential. He'll start in North Charleston for the Stingrays this year. The Rays, of course, always a very good club, as I mentioned. Unbelievable record last year, 44-14, 3-1 before the season was ultimately canceled due to the COVID-19 pandemic. And some of the key players for the Rays are back once again this season. Their captain, Andrew Chernichin, might remember him, briefly a Hershey Bear in the 2019 Calder Cup playoffs. He returns. He led the club with 51 points last season. He scores, starts with Chernichin. Great supporting cast, though, including Mark Cooper, Dan DeSalvo, Cole Yuley, just to name a few. All back for a potent race team. Scored about three and a half goals a game last year. Look to continue to be one of the top teams in the ECHL this year. One change for the Rays, though, is behind the bench. Their mastermind, Steve Bergen, moved on to become the assistant coach at Sacred Heart University. So enter Ryan Blair, Rays assistant coach last year, promoted to head coach this past summer. And while Blair and Bergen are two different people, their philosophies are very similar. Not going to see a lot of change on the ice, according to the new bench boss for the Rays. We agreed on a lot of things in terms of details, habits, systems, and those kind of things. So I think uh, a similar style of play to last year in terms of structure and overall philosophy. Uh, we like to play fast and play with a lot of pressure. Uh, we obviously want to possess the puck as much as possible, but I think it's going to be a, a really similar brand of hockey. And we look for a lot of the same thing in players and look for a lot of the same things out of our teams respectively heard very good things about ryan blair and look he's got some help this week that's hershey bears head coach spencer carberry down in his old stopping grounds back in the low country serving as a guest coach this week for the south carolina stingrays helping them get ready for opening night carberry of course the all-time winningest coach for the south carolina stingrays and was a player with the rays prior to moving behind the bench and he's one of the notable alumni that have come through South Carolina. I had a chance to be down there. The Rays are awesome to work with. And moving up to the next level is everyone's goal. And here's a list of some of the people that have that are notable names for Bears fans. Of course, NHLers like Braden Holtby and Philip Grubauer were both all-stars at the ECHL level. But you see Carberry and Bears assistant coach Patrick Weller both won a championship down in the low country. Most notably for Bears fans on the current roster, Goaltender Vitek Vanacek, who played with the team for a full season at just 18 years old in 2015-16. I had the pleasure of calling those games, and Vanacek was lights out on the ECHL All-Star rookie team that year, as well as on top of that, second in the whole league with a 2.03 goals against average. Hasn't quite made the NHL yet. He's on the cusp of it. He's a star in Chocolatetown, USA now. 
and it started in the low country. So the Stingrays poised for a big year. We're looking forward to rooting them on. And you can follow the Rays by watching the games on their new streaming provider, Crystal Clear HD from the North Charleston Coliseum. Flow Sports, Flow Hockey is the new streaming provider. Just about $12 or so a month for that. You can visit the Stingrays website, stingrayshockey.com, for more information on how to subscribe and watch the games. Also, of course, the games are available to listen to for free with the great voice of the Rays, Jared Chaffron, calling them on Mixler. The Rays and the Bears have a long-standing relationship. We're excited to cheer on the Stingrays again this season. Well, selfishly, we can't wait for puck drop here in Chocolate Town, USA. Until then, we'll all be watching in the low country. Best of luck this year to the Stingrays.